Good morning. Happy Sabbath. I'm happy you are here in Sabbath school with me today. Another Sabbath. We've waited all week long for this Sabbath day and it is here. I hope you're happy to be here. I'm happy because it's the Sabbath. I'm happy as I can be. I'm happy I came to Sabbath school for Jesus is here with me. Jesus comes to Sabbath school with us every week. He's always with us. He loves to come to Sabbath school with us so that we can learn more about him and praise him. Let's sing today. Jesus comes to my Sabbath school. Jesus comes to my Sabbath school. I like to come to Sabbath school to be with Jesus dear. I'm glad he is with us in Sabbath school every Sabbath morning. And I'm happy he is here. Let's wave this morning to each other and welcome each other to Sabbath school today, okay? Wave a little hand and say good morning. Wave a little hand and say good morning. Wave a little hand and say good morning. We're glad you came to Sabbath school. I'm always happy to be here. On a Sabbath morning in Sabbath school. It's the best place to be. I'm bringing my money to Sabbath school. It pays for the nurse. It pays for the nurse. The children who come to the nurse will know that Jesus is coming soon. Our offerings help boys and girls learn more about Jesus. That's why we give our Sabbath school offering to teach others about Jesus. That's being a missionary. So we want to help those boys and girls in Russia, remember that's where our mission offering is going this quarter, to Russia. So let's fill our mission car with nurses today. Shall we do that? And then you get to drive. We're going to drive our mission car with nurses to the mission land. Are you ready? Um, here we come in our mission car, up the hills and around and down. Here we come in our mission car, taking nurses to every town. We want nurses to go and be missionaries, to help boys and girls be healthy and to learn more about Jesus. Let's remember to be a missionary every day and tell others about Jesus. And today, we need to get our mission banks out, our offering banks, and our offering, and we're going to fill it up another time to help send some missionaries to the mission land. Are you ready? Bank and offering? I'll save my offering for the mission land. Offering for the children there To tell them all that Jesus loves them too Offering for the mission land Our offering bank is very full. Let's fill it up and help the missionaries tell more about Jesus. <clears throat> I have two things to show you today. Oh, what are these? Here I have two birds. They're not real, they pretend, but they look like the real thing. This one's a robin, and this one's a bluebird. And birds are very special. What can birds do? They can fly, that's right. So they walk with their feet on the ground, but then they can open their wings and they can fly. I can walk with my feet on the ground, but I don't have any wings to fly. And the birds can fly and sit in the trees. But there's something else special that birds do. Listen. Our robin. Our robin is 
singing. Let's see, what about the bluebird? Our bluebird singing too. Jesus taught the birds to sing. And different birds sing different songs. A robin sounds different than a bluebird, and a bluebird sounds different than a robin. Why do they sing? That they use their singing to talk to each other. So this robin will sing a certain tune, and it will tell another robin where he is, or, or I found some food over here, or maybe he's telling another bird to stay away from his nest. I don't know. And this bluebird can sing a song and tell the bluebirds, I'm over here, come, come talk to me. So Jesus gave them ways to talk to each other. And doesn't singing birds, doesn't that sound make you happy? I like to hear singing birds. I like to open the windows or go outside and walk in the woods and hear the birds singing and listen to their talking. I don't know what they're saying. But it makes me feel good, and it makes me happy. I think that's why one of the reasons Jesus gave the birds a bird song is to help us learn that that's a way that can help us feel better and to feel happy. So, if I'm feeling sad, I can listen for a bird to sing, and it'll help me feel better. If I'm feeling sad... Maybe if I sing, it will help me feel better if I sing too. So if I'm not happy and I grumble and complain, does it make me feel better? No, it doesn't. It makes me feel worse. So I can learn the lesson from the birds that singing will help me feel better and I can feel happy. So let's remember when we hear the birds sing, we can listen to their happy song. And it can help us be happy too. And we can sing a song and help us feel happier. Jesus gave us many special things to help us feel better. And singing is one of them. I am thankful for the birds that sing. That's one of the things we need to say thank you to Jesus for every day is the singing birds. I like to talk to Jesus early in the morning. Thank you for the big round sun shining in the morning. Thank, I like to talk to Jesus early in the morning. Thank you for the raindrops falling in the morning. Here it is. I like to talk to Jesus early in the morning. Thank you for the happy birds singing early in the morning. I like to talk to Jesus early in the morning. Thank you for Mommy and Daddy smiling in the morning. I like to talk to Jesus when it is dinner time. Thank you for the good carrots we eat at dinner time. I like to talk to Jesus when it is dark night time. Thank you for the stars that shine when it is dark night time. I like to talk to Jesus when it is dark night time. Thank you for the frogs that sing when it is dark night time. I like to talk to Jesus when it is dark night time. Thank you for my angel when it is dark night time. We have so many blessings to be thankful for. Let's always remember to talk to Jesus and thank him for the blessings that he has given us. Let's get ready to talk to Jesus. <clears throat> On this Sabbath morning, we have come to pray. We are glad that we are here upon this Sabbath day. <clears throat> Dear Jesus, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day. And thank you, Jesus, for the singing birds. Thank you, Jesus, for our families and for our friends. Be with them all. Keep them safe. <clears throat> Jesus, please help us to be kind and loving, just like you. 
help me to be a missionary every day. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. We love you too. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Amen. We have another Bible story today about Moses. And so we need to get our Bibles out. And we're going to open them and read about Moses today. Are you ready? I open my Bible book and read of Moses, of Moses. Well, last week our story was about baby Moses, wasn't it? Well, this week our story is about when Moses had grown up and he was, oh, let's go this way, when he was a man. He wasn't a baby anymore. He was a grown-up man. And he was in Egypt. And God talked to Moses. Let's see if we can find Moses here. Where is he? Here's Moses. And God talked to Moses, and he said, Moses, I have a job for you to do. Did Moses listen? Yes, he did. Moses loved God in heaven, and so he always listened to, Moses, uh, to God when God talked to him. And so, let's sing about Moses listening to God. <clears throat> Jesus talked to Moses, he listened, he listened. Jesus talked to Moses, he listened to him. Moses listened when Jesus talked to him. And Jesus said, I have a job for you to do. I need you to be my helper and take my people out of Egypt to the promised land. I have a special land for them and I want them to come out of Egypt and I want you to take them out of Egypt. And Moses, oh no, he thought about that. And he said, hmm, he was a bit afraid. He said, that's a really big job. I don't know if I can do that. But Jesus said to Moses, I will be your helper. Do not be afraid. So Moses said, okay, I will be your helper. Jesus says that to us too. Don't be afraid. I will help you so we can be his helper. I want to be a helper like Moses <clears throat> and show God that I love him. I want to be a helper. Do you help around the house? Do you dust the furniture? You sweep the floor? You pick up your toys? Let's sweep the floor today and we'll be helpers. Let's pretend. Can we pretend today? We are little helpers, helpers, helpers. We are little helpers, helping all the day. How about dusting the furniture? We are little helpers, helpers, helpers. We are little helpers, helping all the day. Just like Moses was a helper, we can be helpers too. Jesus wants us to be a helper. So, Moses got Jesus' people God's people all together, and he led them out of Egypt. There were mommies and daddies, there were grandmas and grandpas, there were boys and girls. And they had lots and lots of animals, sheep and cows and goats. They had all kinds of animals, and they all came out of Egypt. And, Joseph, and Moses was leading them out of Egypt. But it was a wilderness. 
it was a desert land where they had to walk through. So they had carried lots of food and water with them out of Egypt, but they had to walk and walk and walk every day. And it was hot and it was dusty and dirty. And they had walked for many days and they were running out of food. And they said to Moses, we're out here in the wilderness. We have no food. What are we going to do? And Moses talked to God. He prayed and God talked to Moses and he said, I will send food. And so Moses told the people, God is sending the food. And so they didn't know what was going to happen. But they went to bed that night and they put their tents up. And they went to bed, and that night, when, I mean that morning after the night, they woke up, and they went outside, and there was something on the ground. And I sort of have a picture here, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. But they looked on the ground, and there was this white stuff all over the ground. And they're like, what is that? What is it? And they looked at it, and maybe somebody tasted it, and mmm, it tasted very good. God had sent food from heaven, and it was all over the ground. All the people had to do was gather it up into their bowls, and there was their food for the day. It was the best food. And so they gathered it up into bowls, and they had it. And they called it manna, because manna means, what is it? Isn't that a special name? What is it? And that was what it was called, manna in Hebrew. God sent them food. So let's sing about the manna today. When his people were walking through the desert so hot, God sent his manna to feed them each day. When his people were walking through the desert so hot, God sent his manna to feed them each day. He sent the manna to them every day. So they weren't hungry anymore. So God said to them, you will have manna every single day. So on Sunday and Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm going to move Moses down, Thursday, you will go out, and you will gather up the manna every single day, and you will have food enough for that day. Don't keep it for the next day, because it won't be good. It won't stay good. But I'll send you new manna the next morning. But on Friday... On the sixth day, I will send extra manna. So you need to gather up two times extra manna for that day because on the seventh day, the Sabbath, God's special holy day, no manna will be sent from heaven because that's the holy day when we put away our work, right? So God made the... Um, an extra amount of manna to come down on Friday, on the sixth day, so that on the Sabbath, the holy Sabbath day, they would not have to gather up and work. It was a holy day. They were learning a lesson about God's special holy day that he made for us to rest, to put away all those things we have to care about and to worry about and to work about, you know? So... Jesus gave us a holy day. I love the Sabbath holy day. They were so thankful. They thanked him for the holy Sabbath day when they didn't have to do their work. Let's thank Jesus just like they did. They said thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the manna. God is love, God is love. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the manna. God is love, God is love. And they learned about.
about that special holy day. We love the Holy Sabbath, don't we? Are you thankful for the Sabbath day? Let's sing about Sabbath. Sabbath is a holy day. Sabbath is a holy day. Holy day, holy day. Sabbath is a holy day. I love every Sabbath. When we can put away our work and spend special holy time with Jesus. Well, they had food every day. They were never hungry anymore. All through the week, they had plenty of food. But then, as they're walking through the desert, their water was running out. Oh, and they were getting thirsty. And so they went to Moses again, and they said, Moses, we are so thirsty, our water is running out. And Moses went to God, and he said, what are we going to do? We are thirsty. We need some water. And so God said, Go to the rock with your staff and hit that rock with your staff and water. You will get water. And so that's what Moses did. Moses believed God when he talked to him. And he hit that rock and the water came gushing out. Lots and lots of water for them so they were never thirsty anymore the water came out just gushing out of the rock and they could they were drinking and oh it felt so good to drink and they filled up their big jars and their barrels with water and so they would have water in the desert god sent the water to them too just like he sent the manna when his people were walking through the desert so hot, God filled his rock with water for them. When his people were walking through the desert so hot, God filled the rock with water for them. He filled the rock with water for them. And so they didn't have to be thirsty anymore. They didn't have to be hungry anymore. God took care of his people. He watched over them and kept them safe. And he made sure that they had food and water to drink. He took care of his people. And we can trust God to take care of us too. Just like he took care of his people in the desert. He'll take care of his people now. We can trust him. Let's pray to Jesus today. Let's get on our knees. And let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much. Please help us learn to always trust and obey you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. We can trust Jesus. He is with us always. Did you practice your memory verse this week? I hope you did. It, oh, I'm pulling my felts off. They're falling down. I'm going to put Moses back up. Our memory verse says, Bread will be given him. His water will be sure. Bread will be given him. His water will be sure. Isaiah 33, verse 16. Let's try that again. Bread will be given him. His water will be sure. Isaiah 33, verse 16. Okay, it's your turn. Bread will be given him his water will be sure Isaiah 33 verse 16 Jesus will make sure we have the bread and water we need 
He cares for his people. He'll take care of us. We can always trust him to take care of us. Let's make sure and practice our memory verse every week as we're learning more and more of God's word that will help us to trust and obey him. Well, I'm glad I came to Sabbath school today. Are you glad you came to Sabbath school today? Let's clap and sing. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school on this bright Sabbath morning. And now it is time for our Sabbath school to be over. So let's get on our knees and we'll fold our hands and close our eyes and be nice and quiet. We'll say goodbye to each other, then bow our heads in prayer. Jesus, bless us through the week and keep us in thy care. Amen. What a wonderful story we had today and a happy Sabbath school to be with Jesus. I'm glad you are here today, and I hope you have a very happy and safe week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.